I actually grew up in um, Ontario and I moved out to Halifax in kind of like 1989 maybe to go to school here. Like the band that I was in in the kind of mid 90s that toured a lot it was called the Super Friends and we had a, we had an 8-track machine and then we got into using that and right around the time we broke up we kind of had figured out how to use it so. Well I started I guess probably 1998 in a smaller place downtown and it was a lot of just like there's a lot of kind of like broke indie bands like which is basically what I do now like it's like people well I've, I've done like a few kind of like projects that weren't you know that had funding or e there's grants in Canada which helps a lot that that kind of eases the pain for musicians a little bit like people get can actually get money from the government to record and we kind of built the basic kind of frame of the space when we moved in and then we kind of stopped because it took it took so long just to build all the walls and the ceilings and it was way harder than we imagined it was going to be and it was really it was like really serious like hanging the ceiling um, like two layers of drywall hung from the ceiling and stuff and then af after that we were just like we're not going to do that anymore and then we just never really <laughs> finished the space. I gotta finish it someday but I don't know when. Usually it takes a lot of concentrated effort to make something good but when you kind of have like a bit of a breakthrough say if you really kind of beat it over the head for a, a few hours and really it's you can kind of exceed your expectations and that's really satisfying and it's like it's satisfying to see that like the, these these people get a thrill out of what they're doing and get into what they're doing and get involved in the process of, you know, it's just kind of, it is fun, it's really, it's really fun.